trim is better. But you can look opposite face if you want to. This doesn't make me look opposite face. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't flip it around? I don't think so, no. He's hmm. referring to the fact that sometimes when I film things, it's this weird phenomenon, it doesn't happen much, but sometimes when I'm filming things, or like I did a commercial recently with a brand for, uh, you guys will see it actually for NyQuil and DayQuil, and they flipped my face in the intro, and I can totally tell because I talk out of the side of my mouth, and in the intro is my face, like I'm, I'm talking <laughs> out of the way. side of my mouth, so. Maybe it flips it on my phone. Maybe. Either way, remember? Wait. Remember? See, that's backwards. Remember? Oh, the test. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, guys. So, Dan and I, well, first off, let me back up. Today is a cold, cloudy day. It's 50 degrees out, which to us California natives. And today feels like New Year's because the Rose Parade is on, but it's the second. Yeah, so we, okay, so we've had a, really, a pretty long vacation, which was really nice because come the end of the year, like I got really like just ready to chill out for a minute. Oh my God, we're running this light. I didn't run it. Yeah, you got thrown on a yellow. It's because I was driving too fast. Round of applause. Yeah. Yeah, I saw my whole life flash before my eyes. Thanks a lot. So, um, let me back up. What did we do this weekend? So, we went to his brother's house on New Year's Eve. We pretty much, we had the laziest day I think I've had, honestly, probably close to all year on Saturday. Don't you think so? I really was trying to think. I'm like, Saturday how... and Sunday. Yeah, dude. We, I don't think we we've had lazier inside. days than those. Well, it was like it was raining. Yeah, that's part but of what contributed to it. And we watched shows and movies all day with Casey in the all bed freaking with the day. Dogs. It was it's so nice. nice. Yeah, so our bed is really, really big. We have a king size bed, which especially to us, that's huge um, because we can just like spread out. We're not like huge people. I mean, like we're tall. We're like five nine. We're both almost the exact same height, but we're not like super huge. So a king bed is really big for us. Um, and we, um, on top of that, our bed's pretty low, and right in front of our bed, at the foot of our bed, we have a fireplace, and then our TV hangs above our fireplace. It's honestly By the way, so nice. Through our whole marriage, we've had a high bed. Yeah, this is the first time we've so, had a low bed. So yeah, so I got a low, a low sitting frame, and then I got like the uh, a thinner box spring, so it's like a half size box spring. So having a lower bed to me is so much better. Well, especially to you because you have shorter legs. I have longer legs you and a shorter to hop torso. You in the bed, you can fall down <laughs> into it. Yeah, and, it's uh, really nice. So we pretty much spent the whole weekend like lounging in our bed with our fireplace on with maybe like one or two windows open to hear the rain and then the heater on and we watched movies. Last night we watched Snowden, which I have to rewatch the last like 30 minutes because I fell asleep so early. I was so comfortable, like 8.30 oh, yeah. at night. So I missed the end. Yeah. I mean, I've seen the documentary, but still the movie was different. Like, yeah, it was pretty good. What other movie did we watch this weekend? I'm trying to even remember. Such a blur, man. Yeah. Dude, we lounged. I just keep thinking of Haters Back Off and how much I like it. Oh, that was so good. So if you don't know what Haters Back Off is, Haters Back Off is um, Colleen Bollinger and her brother and probably many other family members, their television show or their Netflix show. So Colleen Bollinger is a YouTuber. She does the character Miranda Sings. And um, yeah, she got a show with Netflix. And it's been out for a while. We just haven't gotten around to watching it. Well, over the weekend or maybe at the start because of the weekend. We like watching shows. <laughs> yeah, we, we like the whole thing in three days. Oh my god, less than three days. days. I literally think it was over the course of twenty four hours, like two no, evenings. Yeah. Two evenings. Yeah, so like yeah. it was twenty it was like we hours, literally yeah. we powered through it. It was so good. If you have been debating watching Haters Back Off, I want to tell you, do not debate. It is so good. And when you start, you have to push, push through to the final episode. Like, the whole show is way more worth it if you watch the whole thing. Which because was interesting, though, by the way. The Netflix, I don't know, rating system or whatever. Like, when we first clicked over to it, it said one and a half stars. But yeah. that show is not a one and a half star show. No. I think it was Netflix predicting that we weren't going to like that show as much given the history of what we usually watched. 
bad rating system, so I rated it a five star. That's yeah, dude, it was, dude, it, it's so good. The acting, the character development, the plot. By the final episode, I literally was like, oh my gosh. Like, I knew they were talented as a family. I knew Colleen was talented, but I didn't know they were that talented because to take a show or a storyline that is really kind of like almost like Napoleon Dynamite like out very outlandish the characters very outrageous and then bring them to such a serious place where I'm sobbing by the end I was like dude that is that is talent we watched something else over the weekend and I don't remember what it was and even if I could I wouldn't call it out because I'm about to slam it but I remember by the end of whatever it is that we watched both of us were looking at each other and we were like wow doesn't this just like make the Bollingers look even smarter and even more talented because they were able to tell such a good story and like I said to be able to be crying by the end oh it was so good so yeah so we're currently on our way it's a grind and the grocery store I've got my planner with me and because your opposite of, face on yeah and my opposite face on and we're going to get iced tea from it's a grind that's the place that I get iced tea from a lot of mornings of the week or I'm brewing the exact same flavor iced tea. Look at this view by the way. We're getting off the freeway right now but the view of the mountains with the clouds and so pretty out. It's just so nice out. It's almost 10 a.m. We got a really slow start to the day because like he said today is technically a holiday still like a national um observed holiday. So I woke up this morning and I was like we're gonna get up at 7 and be done filming by 10. Not. I forgot. It's right. Yeah, it's 10. Right when I woke up, I was like, it's cloudy out. I want to cuddle. He was tickling my back all morning. We turned on the rose parade on my phone because I have my phone or my television app on my phone. So we just watched the rose parade from bed. I got my back tickled. We chilled and yeah, it's really nice. So now we're going to get some iced tea. We're going to go to the grocery store, pick up these things. And then I'm going to film the first How to Be Happy January video, which is three easy lunch ideas but then at the end of the video I am going to be talking a little bit about like how I, I always call them my how to be happy January spiels where I like just kind of go onto a rant that kind of has to do with the topic of the video so I'm trying to um we're gonna get that filmed and then I'm gonna edit it and then I'm gonna upload it today and hopefully get that done before I have to leave for physical therapy at 3 30 so I don't have that long, but I think it'll be fine. I've also learned some editing tricks recently that sped up the editing process a lot. So um, it should be good. This is kind of something new that I'm trying with all my videos, particularly How to Be Happy January, is that vibe of filming, editing, and uploading the same day. Um, kind of new to that now, so I'm excited. So. By the way, everyone has been wondering since my last vlog, now I am using, I've decided, I know I told you guys I wasn't sure how I was going to use my paper planner. This might disappoint some of you, honestly, but I'm excited about this. <laughs> I've decided that I'm going to use my paper planner, um, or I'm going to try it out and see how it goes, solely for YouTube stuff. Like, thinking of it almost as like my school notebook. Like, oh, this is where, oh, I've got a text coming through right now. Um... I was about to go off into a tangent as to what that text was. But yeah, I'm using it solely for YouTube stuff now. I'm not obviously worked very far ahead. But I want to just be able to flesh my video stuff out on paper. So that's what I'm doing. I was curious. So you ready to go? Yeah, I got to avoid this puddle I parked on. Jump over the puddle, baby. Jump over the puddle. This is what Sigrid looks like from the outside. So exciting, huh, Dan? Ow, my hip. Nope, because I don't get anything here. You don't. You always take me here just to let me get my tea. And I could just as easily make my tea from home, but I don't have the cool ice at home. Oh my God. And let's be real, it's really easy to get into the vibe of just being at home all the time. So going to It's a Grind is a way to like get out of the house. Ooh, the twinkle lights are so pretty. We all know I love twinkle lights. Thanks, Stan. All right, this is what the inside of It's a Grind looks like. Okay, so I'm going to order my drink now. I just want to say for the record, I wish I had still been recording, because right when I walked in, thank you, he immediately handed it to me. I didn't even have to order. I walked in, he's all, here you go. <laughs> Service. So now i got to check my list. 
because there is a grocery store right here. We're right next to Raps. That was a sick move, Dan. But I'm kind of thinking I want to go to Trader Joe's. Do you think they'll be open? Uh, yeah, okay. Like, how serious of a holiday is this? It's Trader not... Joe's had a float. Oh yeah, ha! Huh? They did. So I'm wondering if they're off. Trader Joe's did have a float, and it was like well, super they're... kooky, just like the store. There's a Vons right across the street. If not, yeah, that's true. So the food that I'm making for this three easy lunch ideas video, I'm making a kale and quinoa salad, um, sweet potatoes with chimichurri sauce and roasted veggies on the side, and then I'm doing a Mediterranean veggie sandwich. So how excited are you about all these food options? Um, excited enough to put the car in support. Mode. No, don't. I don't want my drink to tip over. Dan, I don't even have my seatbelt on. Remember? Put your seatbelt on. Remember? 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 I remember. Do you remember? I got my bowling shoes on today, guys. Not really bowling shoes. They just look like bowling <laughs> shoes. <laughs> okay. That's sugar from the monster that splashed all over it. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yep. This lens is really dirty. So, what is she doing under there, guys? We decided today while watching the Rose Bowl that she'd be a great service dog. Silly. Zoe, come here. What's the matter? Are you scared because we got all the filming lights set up? Oh, little service dog Zoe. Time to make some food. Time to make some food. All right, we got everything set up. So now it's time to cook and we turn back on the rose parade because we missed the end of it. So we'll see the end while we're cooking. Or I'm cooking. Ready? Let's do this. All right. So we finished making all the meals. We got the kale quinoa salad with grapes and Parmesan, sweet potato with chimichurri sauce, roasted veggies, side salad, hummus, and then a veggie sandwich over here, a Greek veggie sandwich with some Greek yogurt and a pickle, and then a cute little member berry bay. <laughs> Man, 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 And we're still, we're watching our third rendition of the Rose Bowl. Oh my god! out there, third time it's on. So, I also called you Zoe. What was your favorite part? I think, my favorite part was the dog, the dog float, where they broke yeah. the record with the dog pool. Yeah. I like the Clydesdale. Oh, you know, you love those Clydesdales, huh? I went to SeaWorld one time, and I think that was the only time I ever saw a Clydesdale in real life, and it was insane. Because it had a- Are they really that big? It had like a one or two week old, uh -huh. what do you call a baby horse? Colt, cow, Colt. Colt. Calf is a cow. Uh -huh. It was so cute. Aww. And then the Clydesdale took a dump and it was insane. Almost as cute as Bouncy. But they're like they're like dinosaurs. They're huge. Really? In person. They're huge. I have no, I don't know if I've ever seen a real life Clydesdale. Because uh Anheuser Busch owns SeaWorld. Oh yeah, and they And so the Clydesdales are like the Anheuser Busch thing. Kind of like Wells Fargo. Aww. All right, I gotta go because my phone is dying and I gotta eat some food and then I gotta film the intro for this video for How To Be Happy January and figure out for sure all the points I wanna cover in the talking section and then I gotta edit and then I gotta upload. Oh, my Prince Charles. I'm gonna eat this for lunch because this will be the first thing to go bad. The kale salad can sit and soak, the potato can sit. The potato's gonna sit to in my eaten. stomach, give me uh. that.